Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves for the Sony PlayStation 2. In the last episode, we spent the entire video looking for all of the clue bottles for episode 2, which took a lot longer than it should. And now, we're going to do the first mission. And before I do anything, I do want to equip the combat dodge and hopefully show it off. Just like that. Just hold the L1 or press L1 in the direction you want to dodge at the same time and you'll be able to dodge. Probably won't get a lot of mileage out of that though. Also, at the same time, I want to be able to get back. Well, that was a terrible idea. I want to be able to get back to where the fire pit was. And I'm going to have to move around a little bit in order to do that. And, of course, I'm also going to need to get back up here, I think. That would probably do it. Before I do, I don't know if I'm in the right place to do it, but I do want to get one of the things, one of the treasures that we can get. I think it's in the other place, though. Anyway, here's the mission. seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. All right. So we've been on these three branches before. We just need to find one that's low enough. Preferably without being bitten by a snake. And from here, we just need to get up to that balcony. Simple as that. Thankfully, it's really, really easy to do once you know where the tree branches are. Easy does it, Sly. Just don't go out onto that balcony and you should remain undetected. Alright. We need to start looking into the Binocucom with R3. And we need to take pictures, starting with the wings. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. And now the other one. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. And now we need the winch. And Rajan himself. That's him. Rajan really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. And with that, we need to press R3 again. And it's time to start looking at stuff. Oh. And these people that we will be taking pictures of, we will see them eventually, again. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Don't be soft. A member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. And from here... We just need to wait for the symbols indicating that you can take a picture of something and then we can just make our move. Another claw gang member. Our Peggio specializes in exotic technology. Now we just need N Nayla and we should be able to do this. 
Now, if only the guards would stop showing up, we'd be able to do this. Unfortunately, I keep getting the guards for some reason. There we are. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armament. But he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. And we now get to play as everyone else. Do I have anything? No, I don't have anything to sell. Good. There are two misses with Sly. I'm going to try to do at least one of them. And I believe that this is the way that leads towards the area that I want to be at. I think. And if it doesn't, it at least makes it easier to get there. Okay. There's nothing up here, so we do have to use that rope after all. Okay. You won't be able to see me down here. I don't know if he's going to turn back or what. Okay, he won't. But we can still take his metal, though. But there's still a thing I want to grab. And I want to see if I can grab it. And I know where it is too because we saw it while we were looking for the clue bottles. Of course, I don't mind taking some coins from some guards as I try to do this. That's one of them. That's not the one I want to do. I do, however, want to go down there. In the meantime... I do want to be careful. Knock you into a, what is seemingly a pit, just to get that. And now it's time to go elsewhere. Do not want to do that. He's going to go in one of two directions. Okay, he's going in that one. I don't really need to take the coins at this rate. But hey, if it gets me something like a gold ring, I'll definitely do it. Alright. I think we need to go... Yeah, we do go over in this direction. However, I don't like that that guy is there. So, I want to get the jump on him. Whoa. And I might as well see if I can take a few coins out of his pocket here. Just a few, though. I was never here. 
Oh, it's not in this direction. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess in that case, I'll just have to keep grabbing stuff until I find it. Makes it easier for me to save for stuff, I guess. And yeah, you can just keep moving around in the circle for all I care. One of these areas takes me to that one treasure. It's not this one. I'm gonna find it eventually. But I know it's around here somewhere. Need to look over there again. But I know that one of these areas is supposed to take me to that treasure that I wanted to get. He says as he can't seem to find a treasure. And it can't be this one because this is leading me to nothing but... Oh, it is this one. I was just looking in the wrong end. Well, I know what to do now. Take some coins take a pen, and then grab the vase. Thankfully, getting this back to the safe house shouldn't be that much of a problem. As long as I know what I'm doing. And it's up there. So we just need to move around until we can get to that bridge and then, I should be able to beat him up. Oh, no. Okay. He did the falling into a pit animation. You never saw me. And... Thankfully, I remembered that this bridge was here. And because of that... Oh. That was just a guy with a flashlight. I'm about to say, where did that come from? But we have this thing in our possession now. I just need to go ahead and sell it with the rest of the stuff. 40, 100... 149, 199, 203, 203, that's 443, that's 452. We are now at 3,000 point or coins, rather. That's pretty good, actually. All right. That's where I want to go next that little area right there because that is where I want to get the mission done that I want to do as the second one for the day I believe I would yeah I was over here so those little padlocks we saw earlier here on that machine yeah we're unlocking them now Winter's all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? The key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. The thing is, pick all of their pockets and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. I think you may have seen Sly's hat come off his head for a moment. 
there are times when you could be having a conversation on the Binocucom as Sly, and his hat just seriously disappears before going back on his head. Well, while you're in the Binocucom during a conversation, Sly tends to go out of that holding the Binocucom pose while he's shown on the right hand window and he goes to a standard standing idle animation once you're in that conversation and while he's in the standard standing neutral animation when he's doing that standard standing animation that he's always in when you're just standing around one or two of the things that he can do involve taking his hat off. And you can see the hair on his head, which doesn't really look all that good in the gameplay model compared to the official art of him without his hat on. It's kind of weird. But as we can see, we have to find five keys. And to get those five keys, we're going to have to look around. One of them is already right here. And we have to make sure that we don't get attacked as we do this. And we also can't alert the elephant guard either. And I'm going to have to be very careful as I do this. Almost got caught there. Nope. Don't want to do that. Because that cancels the job if we do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these fire jump points and this shortcut to get back to where we need to be. And from here, we should be able to get these things. That right there is the winch that we need to unlock so we can use the drawbridge. But we need to find four more keys in order to do that first. Thankfully, by pressing the left analog stick, or L3 if you prefer, you can find out where the rest of the guards who have them are. Thankfully, we can get this guy. To sneak up behind him just like that. Sometimes you'll be able to pick it in two attempts, other times you'll be able to pick it in four, five, or six. Now, we need to start looking around again. One of them is going to be right here. Or at least right around here. And we need, don't need to go into the area behind that building because it's not going to lead to anything. Matter of fact, one of the guys is down. As I was saying, one of them right here and well, get it on. Bang a gong. Get it on. Okay, he took longer to move away from it than I thought he would. And I was able to do it in two attempts. He's done. Finally. Oh, hi. Get out of here. Might as well go ahead and grab the things that I can grab. Now that I have this whole area to myself. Now it's time to look around for more targets. And I believe I'll be able to find one right around here. I think I may have gotten... Yeah, I did get rid of the guy who was over there. And now... Uh-oh. Well, I can just go ahead and rotate the left analog stick just for fun and then just keep doing this until he does, until he just moves away. 
or right where I want him. He's going to move around in a circle here, and then I can get that fourth key. Beautiful. And then I can get rid of him if I want to. And I'm going to wait on you too, because I want the money. I think it's because of the fact that I'm not running all the time that I'm not getting all the the missions, more than two missions done in the video. Well, Watercrest, why can't you run all the time? Because I don't want to get spotted by enemies. And being spotted by enemies is very, very bad. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Oh, there's two of you now? Well, that's not much of a problem now, is it? Well, that's one of you gone. And since you're back, I might as well just go ahead and take your stuff. Okay. Where were we? Right. We need to follow that beacon there. Where is he going? He seems to be going in that direction. And it looks like he could be up here somehow. Or somewhere around here, rather. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a good closer look. Naha. He's up there on that balcony. Looks like we're going to have to be careful. Let's go ahead and take some more coins until we get that key. And from here, we know pretty much what to do now. We saw the winch with all the padlocks on it. We might as well go back to it in order to unlock that padlock. Which means we need to go back to the other building, which this is. And now, Um, really? You're going to get me that close to getting caught with that kind of camera angle game? Anyway, we need to go back up here and unlock the winch. And I can more easily go back to the safe house and sell all that stuff. If I can get to the drawbridge. Oh, it's right here. Well then. Well, now that we are back at the safe house, we got a gold ring that we can sell. That's it, but it's still something. And now, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. We got two more percent of the game completed. But it will still be a while before we get done with episode two. We still have quite a few things to do. But those will have the wait. Until the next video. Join me then, why don't you? Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care. Stay safe. And thanks for watching!